Hot Pursuit stars Reese Witherspoon and Sofia Vergara. And it's about this guy named Cortez. He's a big drug guy and he gets thrown in jail and they need someone to testify. So this guy and his wife, played by Sofia Vergara, are going to go testify and Reese Witherspoon and some other guy who's not important have to go and take them down to testify. But they run into some trouble and now Sofia Vergara and Reese Witherspoon kind of have to bond so they can get down there. <sighs> can I be honest, guys? Um, I feel unclean. I feel unclean because of this movie. This movie is only an hour and 27 minutes long, yet it felt like three hours. This isn't Boyhood. This isn't Transformers 4. It's an hour and 27 minutes. It shouldn't feel so long. But you know why it feels so long? Because the jokes aren't funny. Every joke is not funny. Now, granted, my sister and my mom and the other women in the theater actually liked it. They laughed at some parts, and you know what? Then, okay, it's a, it's a female movie, like, gather up and go see the movie, and that's fine. But, even if it is a female movie, it could still be good, like Bridesmaids. That's a movie for females that I actually really like. A lot of people really like Bridesmaids. But this movie is dumb. It's dumb. Like, really? 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 Really dumb! Like, for example, for example, there's one sh there's one scene where these two guys are over here, and there's two guys right here. They're facing right at each other. They point guns at each other, and guess what? They miss every shot. Every shot, they've got the aim of stormtroopers. They're hitting the wall behind them and the objects on a table next to them, but they can't hit what's directly in front of them because these characters need to be alive so they can chase Reese Witherspoon and Sofia Vergara. Okay, but that's another problem. Sofia Vergara and Reese Witherspoon have no chemistry. These two, they're great actors, okay? But they're so annoying in this because Sofia Vergara kind of ends her sentences with this kind of weird moany thingy where it sounds like she's whining. And I know that's her accent, but she doesn't have to end every sentence like this. And of course, Reese Witherspoon talking like a Texas. Uh, I'm not going to do that. But she talks in a really ridiculous Texas accent. And it's annoying. If you wanted a Texan to play a Texan character, then get an actual Texan! It's not that hard. You don't have to hire famous people and have them pretend to have an accent just because you want that famous person in your movie. You don't! Also, there's some funny people involved with this movie. As I mentioned, Sofia Vergara and Reese Witherspoon, but also Jim Gaffigan. He's my favorite comedian because he doesn't have to be all raunchy and inappropriate just to get a laugh out of you. That's why he's my favorite comedian, and I like him here. I relate to him because we're both kind of overweight, and that's cool. He has nothing to do in this movie, and I know that's the point. He's just kind of a small character. That's fine. But why would you even get him? This great, funny... G camera's out of focus. Sorry. This great, funny guy, really funny guy, who only has five minutes of screen time, tells one joke, and that's not even funny, and it's in... The trailer! Paul Blart 2 is a comedy that came out a couple weeks ago. And as you know, I gave that movie an F. I hated that movie. But at least that movie felt 10 minutes longer than its runtime. This movie felt like it went on for a th 30 more minutes. It felt like I was stuck there for 30 minutes beyond its runtime. <sighs> and you know what? That's That sucks. Because I wanted to get out of this movie so many times. I was so ready to just get up and say, I'm done. Sorry, I can't take it. But you know what? I sat right through it. And you know what? I'm more of a man now. I'm more of a man. And you know what? That's pretty great. <sighs> it's dumb. The plot of this movie is ridiculous. Really ridiculous. And we've seen it so many times before. Also, there's one character in the movie, that character completely changes like 20 minutes left of the film, and it's just like, where did this come from? There was no build-up at all, plus the reason for it is so forced, so forced, there's no build-up, there's nothing. And of course, another character who changes later on, but you can actually predict it this time because this character says something that's kind of leading to you, like, that guy's a bad guy, and guess what? He's a bad guy, oh my, that's so surprising, except it wasn't surprising. It wasn't. Not only are the jokes unfunny in this movie, 
But some of them are just really uncomfortable unless you're a woman. Because they talk about the cycle, like, at one point. It's in the trailer also. And I was sitting there like, no, stop. No, you don't have to continue on for a minute of this. Stop. 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 And there's one other scene you've seen in the trailer where basically... Reese Witherspoon and Sofia Vergara's car gets hit, and there's a bunch of cocaine in there, and it all falls on them, and this guy comes out, and like, oh, are you okay? And Reese Witherspoon, like, injected with cocaine, so she's acting crazy, of course, and that's annoying. Like, she was already annoying, but this made her even more annoying, and... <sighs> Reese Witherspoon was nominated for an Oscar for Wild, came out last year, haven't seen it, but I heard she was great in it, and apparently, she, some people uh, th th some people think that she should have deserved that Oscar. I, I prefer Rosamund Pike, but whatever. I didn't see Julianne Moore in Still Alice either, so I, I don't really care. But the thing is, you go from nominated for an Oscar to being in one of your worst roles ever. How how do you accomplish that? Exactly. How? I don't know. These characters have no chemistry with each other. They can't make any funny jokes. There's nothing funny about this movie. This movie feels like it goes on for another two hours. I'm trying not to swear there. Sorry. And these characters are so... Oh my god. I literally feel unclean. I need to take a shower. Oh my god. Help me. Annoying characters. Bad characters also. <laughs> Their stories to set up their actual deep character emotions that'll come out later in the movie as <laughs> they suck. Uh, the jokes suck, uh, other character partnerships suck, the villain sucks, everything sucks. Now, a lot of you might be asking, is this worse than Paul Blart Mall Cop 2? Yes, because as I mentioned earlier, Paul Blart only feels like it goes on for another 10 minutes longer than it does. This movie feels like it goes on for another two hours. So, uh... <laughs> You can obviously tell which movie I had a terrible experience with. Both of them, but you can tell which one I had a worse experience with. Guys, Hot Pursuit is the worst film of the year so far. And I'm going to give it an F. Thank you, Anne Fletcher. Huh, I, I hate a movie more than Paul Blart 2, so thanks. I'm calming myself down now. But if you have seen Hot Pursuit, leave in the comments below of what you thought of it. And I will try to review a classic movie. I'm sorry I've been putting it off, but there's one classic movie I want to review, and I will get that to you eventually. But in the meantime, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm Jackson Fulcher. See you guys next time. <laughs>